Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slimhacks and today I'm going to show you on how to install Windows 8. I already have uh, part 1 which is how to download Windows 8. This is part 2 on how to install Windows 8. Alright, as you can see we're in the BIOS of a laptop and uh, in order to get into a BIOS you need to press delete, F2 or escape. It It depends on your um, on your manufacturer because uh, you know when you press the power button and then uh, it's gonna say some letters in the bottom around here or on top or in the other corner it's gonna say press F2 to go into BIOS or setup just press F2 escape or delete it has to be one of those those are like the main buttons to enter a BIOS and once in you're into a BIOS you wanna go to the the boot uh, option or the tab and once um, you, got, you get into the boot tab you wanna choose the boot priority order and uh, you want to change it from the hard drive to the DVD drive because you already burned the Windows 8 into a CD. Now you want to boot it. This is, uh, I mostly recommend this way, but a lot of people just prefer to press F12 and then just boot it up from there. But I, I like doing it my way, so I'm just going to do it my way. I'm just going to uh, change it to uh, make the CD drive boot first instead of the hard drive. And I'm just going to say configurations, exit now, and I'm just going to say yes and the laptop should restart and oh by the way I already got Windows 8 inside the laptop already so it's gonna start booting up that and quickly after it says press any key to boot from CD just press any key I, I mostly press the space bar I know it says any key but just, pray, just press the space bar and a screen like this should pop up. Windows setup, EMS, EMS enable. Just uh, press enter. Or if it doesn't show this screen, it should show this screen. I'm just gonna pause the video, and um, I'm just gonna wait for the loading files uh, to load. After it's done downloading, loading the files, a screen like this should um, should show up. Windows Developer preview and then that little loading bar right there and yeah now a screen should like this should pop up it, say, in, it says install windows English English US click next install now setup is starting and wait till it asks you to uh, install the system once the installation window um pops up, just accept the license and accept the license terms, click next, custom advance, and then uh, locate the hard drive that you're gonna install the operating system from and uh just go to drive options. <coughs> Sorry I just coughed guys, and you wanna format the hard drive and click OK. And it should start formatting. Once it's done formatting, make sure the hard drive or the partition that you're in, that you're gonna install Windows 8 is uh, highlighted like that, and click next, and it should start installing. I'm gonna wait um until all of this passes through. So yeah, okay. all right, guys. All right, a window like this should pop up. It says it's gonna Windows needs to restart to continue. And you could either wait till um, the bar just loads and it restarts automatically, or you could just press restart now, which is the options gone. But it should restart. And um, as you can see right now, it's booting from the disk. This is the part that you need to pay attention. It says press any key, any key to boot from CD or DVD. Don't do not press any key. Just let it load by itself like this. It's gonna say Windows Developer Preview, and it should start loading up. This time it's actually reading it from the hard drive, not the CD. Because uh, I never press any key to boot from the CD, so this time it's actually reading it from the hard drive. And then it says setup is updating registry, registry settings. The computer is going to restart again, and once again, do not press any key to continue. Do not press any key. <coughs> A screen like this should pop up into your computer that says license and terms. You just want to accept the license terms for using Windows on this PC. Just check that. 
and uh, you wanna click accept. And then it's gonna say to uh, name the the Windows 8 PC. And right now I'm just gonna name it PSP Slim Hacks dash PC. And I'm gonna click next. And then uh, if you have a laptop, um, it's gonna ask you to uh, choose a wireless network around your area, like mine. BSSID or the name of my Wi Fi is called AMD Phenom. I'm just gonna choose that and uh, check connect automatically and click connect. And then it's gonna ask me for the password because I got WePA uh, dash TSK P2 uh, password and I'm just gonna type it in. And I'm gonna connect it. And I'm just gonna use Express Settings for now. And then uh, it's gonna ask you to um, um, ask you to log in through a uh, Windows Live email address. <coughs> you could you have two options. It's either you log in with your email address or don't want to log in with a Windows Live Live ID. But right now I'm just gonna log in with my Windows Live ID. I'm just gonna type in my email and I'm gonna click next and then on the top it should say enter your password which is the password to your Windows Live ID and I'm just gonna enter it in and I'm gonna click next and says creating your account on the bottom right here and I'm just gonna wait for that and then it's gonna say finalizing your settings and it says my uh, my full name Hector Bautista my email preparing your PC Windows developer preview which is Windows 8 they call it Windows Developer Preview because it's like the beta version. It's not the final version because you could tell that the beta version is going to be real buggy. I already tested Windows 8 before and trust me, it's, it's buggy. Like when you press sleep, the computer goes black and it, like the backlit is still on and it doesn't want to sleep. So you need to like press and hold the, the power button until it shuts down and then you have to restart your PC. Another bug is that um when you're typing... Uh, like let's say you use the Internet Explorer on Windows 8 and you're typing a message message in Facebook sorry if my voice got cut off in the other part of the video because uh, my memory got full and um, I needed to uh, save the file the the video files into a, another computer and then um, format the memory so yeah and uh, after your computer finished personalizing or whatever was going on a uh, screen like this should pop up well not pop up but show up it says the start and then uh, you're gonna see like this apps and if you guys have the Windows phone which is the HTC I believe you're gonna look that there's something very familiar about this screen currently my uh, screen is not touch screen so I need to use a mouse to move uh, or navigate through this and um and you're probably wondering where's the desktop well um you just click right here where where it says the desktop just click right there and then it's gonna lead you into the desktop and uh, a lot of people could uh make a connection to Windows 7 this looks almost related to Windows 7 a little bit but um but it's quite different I mean it looks alright the only the only bad thing like no offense to all those uh, Microsoft um, Windows 8 lovers right now but uh, the thing I hate is the start button every single time you're gonna press the start button that's what's gonna happen or as you 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 saw earlier well not earlier but a couple of seconds ago if I hover over it it's gonna say though watch the time Thursday October October 20th wireless um laptops charging settings devices chair search and then uh, in order to turn it off um, 
manually uh, you go to settings and then it says uh, right here AMD Phantom which is the wireless connection the volume the brightness notifications power and the language and in order to turn it off, to turn it off is you go to power and then you shut it down oh and one more thing if you wanna see a full review on the Windows 8 operating system on itself like the full um well what the what features it has on Windows 8 and all that please click the hard drive and it will directly lead you to the video well um, thank you for watching again this is PSP Slim Hacks known as Hector Bautista bye